Up next on Monday Morning Racer, no prep drag racing from Pennsylvania. <laughs> Hey guys, Lee Craft here. I'm the Monday Morning Racer, and recently I was in Pennsylvania, Beaver Springs, Pennsylvania, for the Just Send It No Prep Racing Series and their first race of the year. And it was a race that produced in its no prep style some great racing action with a lot of different classes. There were close calls, and there were those that definitely made the call with carnage and wreckage, and all of it. The footage from that race is up next. Hey, hit the like button for me, subscribe to the Monday Morning Racer, and you also can check out Monday Morning Racer on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Enjoy what I got for you. Monday morning racer on location. We're in the pits here at Beaver Springs Dragway, Dragway and we've caught up yeah. with Eddie and Andrea. And Eddie, man, I got it on camera. You had a close call. Talk us through that run. Yeah, it was pretty pretty wild ride. Uh, we were lined up a little crooked on the starting line, which threw us out of the group to begin with. And I just tried to drive through it and just it, it called up top and sent me over the other lane. Luckily, I was fortunate enough to drive out of it and not have anything catastrophic happen. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad, man, it wasn't any worse because we just saw after that, not too many runs later, something that was worse with the driver rolling and totaling that race car. Now, Andrea, what was going on in your heart and mind seeing your man making all those smooth driving moves on the asphalt and in the grass? Well, I was thankful he was such a good driver and he knew when to let out of it, but uh, 
the wreck that he had at South Mountain a few years ago definitely flashed before my mind. Yeah, I had a pretty bad accident up South Mountain about three years ago. I went over the wall, into the woods, went end over end six or eight times. I mean, from headlight to taillight, the truck was absolutely destroyed. Man! The engine, transmission, rear end, four link. The cage saved my life. I walked away with just a few pieces of glass in my arm. Wow. And that was it. Wow, you're you're a candidate for, and they walked away. Yeah. I, I, I literally <laughs> climbed down the windshield of the truck. Awesome. awesome. Now, you've got one of these S10s. They have risen in popularity. People love to see the trucks. So share with us what you can, what you would about what you're running and how long you've had it, where it all began. I mean, it all began years ago. I've always, I've always had S10s. That was my first truck. Uh, this one is not my actual first truck. You know, ever since high school, I've had an S10. Uh, the first one that we built, tube, tube chassis, very similar, all the same, similar setup. That was twin turbo. Uh, that one, obviously, we wrecked that one up at South Mountain, so we built this one. I built this one in a friend's garage, a little two-car garage, with a hand bender, a, you know, some very minor tools. I'm, I built the entire chassis, wired the whole thing. All every, Everything that has been done on it, me or her have done. You know, no, no outsourced work at all. This was twin turbo up until this week. This is actually our first time out on this precision. And so far, so good. It's a lot more to handle. It's much more turbo. It makes a lot more power and a lot less boost. You know, so we're still trying to get a handle on that. Awesome, man. Is there any way people can connect with you on social media that you've got out there? Yeah, we have um, Murder 88 page. You just go on Facebook and just type in Murder 88 and... and stuff should pop up everywhere and we do have our own page also an instagram page murder 88 murder underscore 88 underscore 88 i don't handle that she handles all that <laughs> awesome eddie look thank you andrea thank you. thank you and we hope that you have many more successful runs and no more opportunities for they walked away <laughs> yeah take care thank you Thanks.
Well, that's a bummer. So me and my rookie status of going and capturing live footage at races, I pan from the starting line and there is the crew member who has every right to stand there in the way of the shutdown area. So if you notice, that black Camaro from the start through mid-track was in and out of the groove, never really had control of the car, and he did lose control of it and barrel rolled several times. So what's next is footage of the carnage and what happened, the damage, the aftermath. In the description of this video below, I have linked photos to my Instagram of the up close of the aftermath and also a video that's circulating on Facebook of the barrel rolls themselves. So here now, the aftermath of absolute carnage at the Just Send It No Prep Racing Series first race. Monday morning racer here with Eric. Eric, I got the footage. You just took a wild ride. Tell us about it. I don't know what happened. It just kept getting loose, and I tried to came, let off come to it. Didn't want nothing to do with it. Want nothing to do with it. Sideways and dug in. That's all it took. All right. She had a mind of her own. Yes, yeah, she did. Now, you just mentioned that you're ashamed of yourself, but I'm sure you'll get it back together, and you'll come out and redeem yourself. Well, I got another car. I think this one's done. Gotcha, man. Gotcha. Well, Eric, we're glad you're okay, and thanks for the word. All right, thank you.
semifinals in her speed competition is Bob Reeder. Or Simon Sims and Kevin Stone. We're out of Maryland. Truck out of Maryland here. Turbo. 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 Turbo.
Monday morning racer in the pits. You know, I like to talk to these drivers and get the word on their rides and how they came about. I'm with Dave. Dave, man, you've got one of the, one of, if not the most beautiful car out here today. Tell me, Thank make, you. model, story, and why it's so nice. <laughs> a lot of time and effort. Um, it's a 1934 Model A. Um, Dad had the body since the 80s, um, played with it, and made a street car out of it. It turned out a lot nicer than we thought. A lot of time and effort at block sand. We were driving on the street a lot, and then we turned out it's, it's pretty light, so we put a Jensen motor in it. Um, it's on pump gas, and then we add some nitrous to it here, and uh, it runs pretty good. So we figured we'd try it out and play some, play with some of these boys out here. Awesome. It's definitely something different in the no prep drag racing scene yeah, to see something basically that's like classic American hot rodder and not the modern uh, styles of like Malibu F10s and so. Fox body Mustangs. So very cool ride to well, see out. You. Now I know this can't be your first race ride. So what was the first race ride for you and how long well, have, have you been a, racing? Uh, a 66 Nova I have. Uh, I got that as my first car as 85. I still have it. Um, it's a lot slower. <laughs> the high 11s, um, but that's five-speed car. It's a nice car to drive on the street. And then we started playing with this. And at first, it wasn't street legal, so we decided on going through everything to make it street legal because sitting in the staging lanes all day isn't a lot of fun. So it's fun to just take it to a cruise night and get a lot more use out of the car instead of just having to sit in the garage or sit in the trailer and sit in the staging lane for you know a couple of seconds. So it's it's multi-purpose. Um, I can sit in traffic with it. I can do cruise nights, and then I, can, you know, I put it in the trailer, put a little nitrous to it, and she goes pretty decent down the track too. So. Awesome, so Dave. Whatever. Uh, where are you out of, and is there anybody you would like to say thank you to, and help that may help you being out here doing some racing? Well, definitely uh, from from Manchester, PA. Um, of course, my parents. My dad helps me a lot. He taught me some of the stuff. Uh, Jamie. Uh, uh, Luther is here today. He's helped me out definitely in the staging lanes. It, take, it takes more than one guy just to get in a seat and drive. You know, you need somebody checking your tires. You need somebody helping you out. And I have lots of friends. Everybody has, you know, a big part of just, you know, a little thing. Even they came over and helped me for one night, it all helps. It, you know, every little bit helps. Awesome. Dave, man, awesome ride. And I hope you have a great day. And hopefully you keep going some rounds here. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Appreciate it. Thank you.
Monday morning race around location here at Beaver Springs Dragway, and I've caught up with a couple of loyal fans, Brett and Nick. One of them even happens to be a Chevy dude, tattooed for life. So, Brett, Nick, why do you come out to the Beaver for drag races? Badass. Gotta watch fast cars. Yeah. It's better than the media. Better, better than the media, media dragway. Yeah. All right, so better than the competition, definitely right here. Yeah. All right, so. You said that you've got a car that's hurt. What is it, and uh, when do you expect to have it back out? Uh, it's an 80 Camaro in about two weeks, hopefully. All right, great. Yeah, boost issues. Boost issues. Yeah. Man, do you help him with the car? I 
try to. You try. I try. You try. So you're the number one mechanic? Not the number one. But you're number you're, two. Number, number two. two. Yeah. You're you're a trusty one. Yeah. The crew chief was here, but he left. I don't know where he went. Oh, those crew chiefs! I tell you, man. Yeah. Yeah, so have you enjoyed the no prep races today? Uh, yeah. So far, yeah. yeah. It's been it's been pretty good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. I hope you drive carefully back home, and have a great weekend. Yeah. Thank Absolutely. You. All right, folks, Lee Craft, Monday morning racer. I'm down here at Beaver Springs Dragway in Pennsylvania, caught up with Mike McCracken. And Mike Jr. And Mike Jr. And uh, he's head of this particular dragway, and he's put a lot of work in lately. Mike, look, I'm thoroughly impressed coming in on the property and seeing what you've got. Tell me, what's the story on updating and getting this track to where it is today? Well, uh, we bought the track from Bob McCardle, Beaver, Beaver Bob. and. Uh, he was 75 and he just kind of left it go. I mean, he, he worked hard, but he was he was done with it. So when we bought the track, my son and I, I mean, if I my son, I'd be up the creek, but we did a lot of repairs. We learned how to scrape, we learned how to prep, we put all new lights in, we did a speaker system, we did renovation of buildings, we painted, we moved bleachers, we took and did paving, we changed the staging lanes. I mean, we've done over and over and over. We put a new goodie booth in, we changed the, the concession around. So, I mean, we've tried to update and bring it so that we're not changing the, the feel here, but we, we're trying to update it so you, it's a better facility. Awesome. And I think you've done that, man. For a small drag strip, y'all have got some of the nicest restrooms I've seen in a while. Y'all have got a great looking concession stand with a good menu. And the, the facilities are spectacular. And you've done a great job. Your son's done a great job. Now, from a racing standpoint, you know, you've got this no prep deal today. You've scraped the track. You've got it to get as close to street you as you can. So as a promoter, with doing that type of thing, what are some things in the future that you hope to do and get in here at this particular dragway? Well, what we're trying to do is this no prep stuff is pretty hot right now, and we're trying to move with the times. Uh, as the old owner, he didn't want to take and really try anything new, but we're willing to try. We scraped all our prep off, all our rubber off, so that these guys could come in and, and have a competitive race. Uh, the biggest thing is, though, we want it to be safe. We want I won't send anybody down the track, and neither will Mike, unless we would go down the track ourselves. So uh, these guys here, they want to try this, and they're moving the starting line and stuff. We're going to see how it goes. we we got to stay with the times. But, you know, if it doesn't something that fits us, we'll do something different. We'll make a change. Awesome. So in the future, what program is the pinnacle for this drag or dragway that you want to bring in? What's what's your dreams? Really, we just want this to be a fun family track. We want you to come here. We want you to enjoy your day. We want to give you the best surface we can. Be competitive. I don't want you to lose because you spun or the timing system changed, which we put a brand new timing system in. We want you to leave here happy and, and enjoy your day with your family and, and, and a safe day. Awesome. So beyond your son, anyone else that you want to say thank you to well, or sponsors as well? Yeah. My daughter, my son and daughter, my daughter helps me with the paperwork and helps me get things, but Graham and Betty Taylor, uh, Graham kind of got me into this mess, but he's he's been helping me the whole way through. Betty's my girl at the gate. Graham's 80 years old, but he mows grass with us all day long, works with the scrape in the line. I'd be lost without those two for sure. Awesome. They're the whole Taylor family. Awesome. Now, Mike, with a last name like McCracken, I'm sure people over the years have always been saying things like, here comes the McCracken. Yep. I'm sure you've got some interesting yep. ones. Look, I hope people come and visit your track. This is a great facility. Folks, if you see this, you need to come see Mike and Mike and the rest of the team here as a racer and as a spectator, spectator and check out the great racing that's happening here in Pennsylvania. Mike, Mike, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Hope to see you at the beef. Thank you.